What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Tyrone and I'm welcome back to a brand new video and it's finally here. Brilliant Stars has made it to our hands and I got a booster box in front of me that I can't wait to rip with y'all. And so, I think without further ado, let's get into the video and let's rip some packs. Welcome back everybody. And it's time to get into this opening as we have a Brilliant Stars Pokemon Sword and Shield booster box in front of us. Arceus on the front, the god of Pokemon. And this is going to be a fun set to get into. I haven't opened up any Brilliant Stars yet, no pre-releases, no single packs, no blisters. And so this is going to be my first time getting into Brilliant Stars. It's been out for about a week now and I finally got my booster boxes in the mail today. And so I knew I had to make this video. And so you can see some awesome pack art on this box. We got Charizard on the side, we got Whimsicott there on the other side, Shaman up top, and Brilliant Stars Constellations Align in a show of force. So we got 36 packs to open. This is gonna be a little bit long opening, but man, is it gonna be fun because this set has looked awesome. The pull rates seem to be really good from this set. From what I can tell through social media, people are loving it. You got some awesome top hitters that you wanna get, such as the Rainbow Charizard, the Charizard V Alternate Art, and the Arceus V Alternate Art. And so I'd say those are gonna be some of the top cards we're looking for. We're gonna have the V Stars, such as Charizard and Shaman V Star. And of course we get our character rares, like the Umbreon V character rare. Um, Man, this is just going to be a fun set. <laughs> I can't wait to get into it. This booster box, I think I paid about $130 for, you know, as a pre-order. So I think they're still sitting kind of right about that range, the 130 to 1. Maybe maybe the, some of them by now have gone low, lower to like the 115 range, which, you know, for a new set still is a little bit higher than what probably most people would like to see. But, you know, it makes sense when you look at how quality this set is. And so I think it's about that time that we can look to break the seal on this box. So we get this plastic seal off. Man, it is time to get into some Pokemon cards. It has been a, a minute since I've opened up a full booster box. And so I can't wait to get to do this with y'all. I think the last one I guess was Evolving Skies. I did open up a Fusion Strike booster box, but we didn't pull anything. And sadly, my recording went corrupt from it. So I never got to show it off with y'all. And so, I'm gonna pull out the first few packs, see if we can get all the pack arts right there. Gosh, look at these packs. Charizard, Shaman, Whimsicott, Arceus. Awesome pack arts, awesome, awesome pack arts. Can't wait to get into this set. We will set those right here real quick. We do have some cards in the back from Cosmic Eclipse, which is the last character rare, character rare set that we had. So we got Piplup and Torkoal there in the back. I'm hoping that we get some of the same luck that we did in Cosmic Eclipse with these packs. And so, I think we start by opening up our first one right there. Code card, I do give all these code cards. So this is gonna be a nice fat opening for some code cards if you're into the Pokemon Online TCG. So please get on that if that's what you're interested in. I love the look of these new energies. I think one of the definitely better designs that they've had here recently. I love the explosion kind of look that you see. But starting it off, we got a water type energy. We got a Cynthia's Ambition, Sharon's Care, Pachirisu, Starly, got Milsery, Carablast, Clefairy, Cherubi. We got a sock, and that is a common reverse. And starting it off with a muck non hollow rare. And so, if you don't know how we do these stacks, all of our commons and uncommons on the right, non hollow rares and reverses of any others besides the rares in the middle, and then all of our hits there on the far side. So, next, going into the shaman pack, code card. So this set is going to be four to the front, like the rest of the short and sword and shield sets, which is nice that they're all consistent. Start off with a grass type energy, Boria, Staravia, Fairy, Chimchar, Minchino, Baltoy, 
Snora, Nose Pass, got another Nose Pass Reverse, and a Motham Non Hollow Rare. So, if y'all have been getting into Brilliant Stars so far, you've gone into some of the early openings of this product, please let me know down below how you've done so far. What do you think of this set? How do you think this compares to some of the other Sword and Shield sets that we've seen? So we got one of those little place markers. I can pick it up. There we go, a little B-Star place marker. They seem to show up in a few of these packs. Nothing too rare, but just something that seems to keep showing up. I think that's, I didn't, ooh, I think these replace the size of the energies. And so I screwed up that, so that's good to know. It's only three cards to the front when you have these B-Stars. But we got our boss's orders. Different kind of boss's orders is this is with Team Galactic's leader, Silen. I think it's Silen. Or Cyrus, my bad. Cyrus. Man, it's been a minute since I've played these games. And, well, then again, I also played Brilliant, <laughs> Brilliant Dying and Shaman Pearl not long ago. But we can just cruise through this one. Weavile, Fracture, Team Yellow, Sneasel, Squarefish, Magmar, Spiritomb, Impidimp, and a Morgarim reverse so that pack was a little little busted but i guess what i was getting at earlier if you have started opening up this set i'd love to hear what y'all think of it so far you know the hype was definitely there for this set i think it's turning out to be kind of what everybody wanted and so let's see if we can get of course some of that luck going into this opening but we got a darkness type energy crawdont dusclops stormy Spiritum, Burmy, Impidimp, Staryu, Riolu, and there is our first character rare right there. These are going to be in the reverse hollow slots, so you can actually get two pulls from a pack, but very Porion with blue there in the back. Definitely one of the better ones, I think, in my opinion. Down there, TG02 out of TG30. I think that shows that these are one of the character rares out of the 30 that you can find and a Clefable non-hollow rare. So let's get this Vaporeon sleeved up. Just got done opening that Vaporeon premium collection box. If you haven't seen that video, it came out last Wednesday. Please check it out. Another card to go into that Evolution collection. Nice one right there. Looks very well centered. Good condition. A little weird corner, but that's okay. And that is gonna be our first hit of Brilliant Stars. And so I'm excited to see what else we got going. A lot more packs to go. Good card. Two, four. We got a Lightning type energy. Jaren's Care. Bear Tick. Collapse Stadium. Snora. Nose Pass. Milsery. Cup Chew. The Dene. We got a Bear Tick and that is going to be an Uncommon. And our first character, Full Art Trainer, and we got Barry. Barry, Full Art Trainer. Two hits, back to back. You love to see it. Little, little off-centered, heavy on there. Nice, oh man, <laughs> that really looks bad on that backside. But there we go, Barry, Full Art Trainer. Nice one right there, another hit. We love to see that. And I know some people were really big Full Art Trainers. That's something I guess I just have not gotten quite into like some of the others. But that's okay. Everyone has, has to have their things that they love to connect in this. And when, that's what makes the hobby so great. Is everybody ha has their different taste in the cards. And gets to show off what they like. And so I do try to actually get rid of most of my Full Art Trainers on eBay. And so if you're interested in any of the ones that I pull, you can usually find them there. And I would love to get y'all a good deal. Just mention you're from the YouTube and I will definitely give you a good deal on some of those full art trainers. So we did get a just a non hollow rare Dragon in that pack. Yeah, cards are sliding. Another Charizard pack. Looks like this one was already kind of open at the top. A little damage. Don't like that. Yeah, you can see. Oh, if I don't bump the camera, you can see how that corner is kind of busted. Not a great, not a great thing to see. We got a Lightning type energy, Monferno, Fair Tick, Fracture, Furloin, Duskull, Nasal, Forfish, Magmar. We got a Halucha, Reverse Common. And our first 
V card being a Charizard V. The man of the hour, Charizard. We're looking for him in so many different forms and we already got him in probably the easiest one to find. But a nice Charizard V right there. Looks good, looks like it didn't get kind of messed up like some of the other cards. But that is a nice one right there. Love that action flamethrower coming out the top. Nice pull right there. So far, so good. Good start to the set. Definitely enjoying this so far. So. Cook card. And we got a fire type energy. Dusclops. Morgrim. Gabite. Cherubi. Sock. Corefish. Colette. Chameco. We got a hunting gloves. And a warmadon. Non hollow rare. And so, the nice thing about this video is there's a lot to talk about in terms of what is happening around Pokemon. It's fun that this set is has a lot of the same themes that we were seeing in Pokemon Arceus. If you haven't played the game yet, man, it is probably my favorite Pokemon game that I have played since the very beginning being emerald and there's our another hollow hit we got an infernate hollow right there nice nice pull love that as a sinnoh starter so if you haven't yet played arceus i can do nothing more that if you have a switch i can recommend it full heartedly an amazing amazing pokemon game something that we have pretty much been wanting for for a while and they did a great job on that for sure so we will move those to the front, another V-Star. And so it's cool that this set has a lot of those same themes. Arceus, of course, on the cover art. And then we got already announcement of the new set, which is featuring a lot of the Suryan Pokemon from Arceus in Japan already. So we got a Lapras non holo rare. And so you can see that we have already gotten the Suryan forms of, of Oshawott, or I guess, sorry, Samurott, I should say it in their, in their final forms of Decidueye and, and uh, Typhlosion. And so those are going to be kind of some of the leaders in this next set that we got coming out. Or like I said, already out in Japan, but of course will be the next probably US English set coming out. So I can't wait to get to see that one when that happens. But we got a Choice Belt and... A Golurk non hollow rare. And so it's awesome how they've been announcing so much Pokemon stuff this year, and it's only the beginning. It's kind of almost overwhelming when you think about how much just stuff we're getting. There's another Pokemon game coming out soon here at the end of 2022 as well. Gen 9 is making its way already. So if you haven't seen the. Oh, I definitely messed that up. Oh, some of them times it gets by you. Breloom non hollow rare. We can kind of cruise through these. Some of the starters, Turtwig, and a Crawdont. It's going to be just an uncommon. Kind of said that we haven't gotten too many holo or reverse holo rares. But yeah, so they already have announced Gen 9. We got our three starters. Pretty crazy to imagine that it's already another brand new Pokemon game, another new region already happening, Scarlet and Violet. If y'all have seen that trailer, I would love to hear what y'all think so far. Y'all excited? I think they actually did a good job on the starters. This one's kind of weird. Oh, am I really messing up the code guard or the order? We got a Torterra Hollow. Nice one right there. Now we just need Empoleon to finish it out and we will have all three of those. I don't even know if Empoleon is a hollow in the set. A nice Torterra. Gosh, I need to concentrate. I'm messing up the card. <laughs> messing up the card trick. Go card. But Scarlet and Violet look really good. It's gonna be featured, and I think most people have said about Spain or Portugal is the theme, I believe. And so it'll be cool to see how those turn out here at the end of the year as we get more info as we get closer. Graphics look awesome. It's gonna be another open world one, which is what everyone wants. And we are excited for that, just like this Rapid Strike Urshifu V character rare. Nice, nice one right there. 
We got Mustard and Urshifu right there. Like that one and a Heatran non-hollow rare. Get that bad boy sleeved up. Second character rare, and this one's one of the V alternate arts. Like it, like it, like it. Can definitely get behind that. And we probably still are not even what, halfway through the box yet? Start trying to blaze through some of these. Got a water type energy, fairy, blunder policy, twerkle, grimer, sneasel, Bidoof, Electabuzz, Charmeco, Cynthia's Ambition, and a Eskew. That's gonna be a non hollow rare. Water type energy, Vibrava, Copious, Cladle, Clink, Spiritomb, Axew, Impidimp, Magmar. We got Roseanne's backup and a Lipard non hollow rare. And so, if y'all can't tell from the videos already, I do talk a lot. I do find this fun getting to kind of just toss some of my thoughts out there. And of course, would love if loves seeing some of the interaction. Would love to talk more about Pokemon, as you don't have too many people at my age that are still in it, or at least at where I'm at. And so I would always love to see more, more interaction. We got Duskull as our reverse, and we got a Drampa V. So there we go, another V right there, Drampa. And I, am I messing up the card trick? I don't know. That seemed kind of weird. Second time that's happened. I feel like that one I was actually paying attention on. That's okay though. That happens every now and then. Just gotta make sure I'm doing four cards to the front. One, two, three, four. Definitely got her that time. There we go. There's a grass energy. Got a magma basin, broadon, ultra ball, throw, shroomish, hip up, turtwig, sneasel. And we got a Mewtwo reverse. There we go. Our first reverse rare. That isn't a character rare. Mewtwo, look at that. That's an evil looking Mewtwo. Like that one. And an Empoleon. So Empoleon is a is a hollow in this set. So there we go. Got all of our Sinnoh starters. Not bad. Can definitely get behind that. There we go. Splash around Empoleon. Got a lightning type energy, Claydol, double turbo energy, Weavile, Turtwig, Neasel, Clink, Spiritomb, Axew. We got a Torterra Reverse, nice one to go with the Hollow, and an now Creamy, non hollow rare. Get this Torterra sleeved up. Nice one right there. Here we go. Got a little bit of slowdown on some of our big pulls. Let's see if we can start getting some more pack magic going on. Really want to see one of those secret rare Charizards. Got a Luxio, Hitmontop, Alucha, Weasel, Gibble, Trapinch, Castform. And there's another character rare, Flareon, also with blue, or Gary, whatever you want to call him. Nice Flareon. So we're going to be missing just the Jolteon. And we get a Muck non hollow rare. There we go. That is two of them down. And also the two premium collections I've opened so far. Maybe that's a telltale sign there. Get that stack a little bit better organized. Not sliding around as much. Let's get into some more packs. Probably got about a dozen left. So still plenty of chances. Love that we already have a pretty big hit pile so far. This set is looking very, very nice. And of course, this will not be the only product we open from this set, but you can expect plenty more future pulls coming around. And we got an Electivire non hollow rare. Ah, Cub Chew's taking off. Go ahead and slide. Ooh. Can 
tell it's been a minute since I've actually done a video because I've been away on work, so I'm having to pre-record a lot of these. Already bumping the camera all the time. But we got a Ultra Ball, Morgrim, Trap Inch, Cast Form, Throw, Shroomish, Piplup, got a Furloin, and a Warmadon, non-hollow rare. Here we go, let's get some hits. We need something in that far back slot. We gotta have something coming our way. Black Grass Top Energy, Morgrim, Hunting Gloves, Staravia, the Dene, Cub Chew, Duskull, Card Fetch, Execute, got a double turbo energy, and a Grim Salt Snarl non-hollow rare. And so I guess this is a good time to announce if y'all haven't seen any of my previous videos down below. In the description you're going to see a link to a giveaway video as we are doing a 75 subscriber giveaway whenever we hit that mark we will be giving away your choice of a shining fates etv some prism nba cellos or some nfl prestige blasters and so those are going to be all available i need to figure out this card trick so it looks like we have something here see that little bit of shine and it's a little early i think it's throwing me for a loop with that v star card but we got a Lipard, that's going to be a Reverse Rare, so we're going to get two hits. And a Morpeko V, Angry Dark Morpeko. <laughs> Fun one there. We can just cruise through these. There we go, nice double hit. Angry Morpeko. <laughs> I love the, pink, the like purple electricity coming out of his cheeks. Definitely one of the cool mechanics they added with it. With the creation of more Echo, and they introduced them into the Galarian region. Let's pull a card, let's pull a pack from the back. I'm pulling from the front, not getting a lot going on. Let's see how the back does for us. Two, three, four. We got a water type energy, choice bell, Staravia, Lotzel, Weasel, Alucha, Thuro, Magmar, Star you, Shimchar Reverse, and a Warmadon non hollow rare. And so, yes, with that giveaway, that's what we're giving away at 75 subscribers. To enter, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel. That will be your first step. Like a video, like any video, and comment on that video, and that will be one entry. And you can do that like and comment on pretty much any video after the giveaway has been announced, and that will count as an entry. And so going back to the one where we did the build and battle stadium kit for fusion strike, we got a fable non hollow rail. Going back to that build and battle from fusion strike on that video, if you were to like and comment, that is going to be one entry. And if you were to do that on all, let's say I have six videos after that and do that on the other six, that will then give you seven total entries. And so that is your way to really increase your chances. Of course, I greatly appreciate it because that shows y'all are supporting the channel. And then of course, I would love to give some stuff back to you as we've already gone to do it once. I just can't wait to get to do it again. A Luxray, non-hollow rare. That's one of the fun things I did want to do in this, of course, was the interaction between get to meet more people, get to hopefully give away some free stuff to people that would really enjoy it. And I know that if you're checking out my channel, there's a good chance you would. So here we got a Finding Type Energy, Morgrim, Friends of Galar, Probopass, Chimeco, Chimchar, Minchino, Baltoy, Snorunt, got a Spiritomb, Reverse, and a Whimsicott V Full Art. There we go. First Full Art card. We got the Whimsicott. Little cotton bubbles in the background. There we go. Nice full art to get. I guess I completely forgot. I think there was a full art Pikachu in this one. That looks awesome as it has like parts around it and stuff. So many, so many good cards from this set. We got a Psychic type energy, Hunting Gloves, Vibrava, Cafe Master, Burmy, Sock, Cherubi, Riolu, Starly, Got a Corefish and a Manaphy non-hollow rare. 
Come on, Arceus. Let's see. Give us some luck. One, two, three, four. Here we got a Lightning type energy, Siglyph, Executor, Blunder Policy, Hard Fetch, Shinx, Execute, Grimer, Fairy. Got a Pot Helmet, followed by a Dreadigon, non hollow rare. Come on, Charizard. Arceus couldn't do it for us there. Let's see if he can help us out. Got four to front. Here we got a Lightning type energy, Cafe Master, Weavile, Dusclops, Baltoy, Axew, Nosepass, Snora, Clink, Collapse Stadium, and a Mewtwo non holo rare. Love how big these common stacks get by the end of these openings. So many cards. One, two, three. Another one of these little V stars. So I think they still just mess it up completely, but I could be wrong. Team Yells, Chant, Sanchino, Cleansing Glove, Nose Pass, the Dene. Cub Chew, Shinx, Hard Fetch, got a throw, and that is a common, and a Duskinor Hollow. There we go. Haven't had a Hollow in a minute. Nice Duskinor right there. Love all these Sinnoh Pokemon that are here. There we go. About four packs left. We're really getting towards the end here. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic coming our way. Got a Grass Type Energy, Luxio, Hitmontop, Magma Basin, Badoof, Electabuzz, Alucha, Weasel. We got a Gibble, a Shroomish, and a Honchcrow V. There we go. Nice one right there. I have a really cool version of the Honchcrow V and the character rares. That's a nice one nonetheless. Let's do the last pack on that left side. Two left after this. So we are definitely getting close to the end. If you have stuck with me this long, I do want to say thank you for watching. I do greatly appreciate the support you have showed. Of course, hopefully you have enjoyed the opening so far. Again, to see a look at Brilliant Stars. But we got a Gloria and we got a rainbow. A Rainbow Whimsicott V-Star. There we go. This is just a Whimsicott box today. Ah, dropping a sleeve. There we go. Whimsicott V-Star Rainbow. Little top heavy, but nothing too crazy. Nice card right there. There we go. We got the Rainbow hit. Did to kind of tease us with a little bit. Of course, wanted to see that Charizard. But we will take what we can get. No need to be greedy in this hobby. That's for sure. Plenty of hits to go around. But we got a fire type energy, Tropius, Claydol, Freshwater Set, Shinx, Impidimp, Golet, Chaos Form, Chimchar. We got a Hitmon Top, Uncommon. And a Gramble V Full Art. There we go. Some more hits to finish this out. Nice. Gramble Full Art. And we will finish it up with our last pack. Women's Card on the front. Then the theme of the box. And let's see what this booster box wants to give us as a last final parting. Let's see if we can get one of those Charizard cards. We got a Funny Type Energy. Monferno, Gloria, Dusclops, Spiritomb, Purloin, Milsery, Shinx, got an Impidimp, we got an Orangaroo character rare to finish it out. Look at them just kind of vibing on the beach right there. Love the just the chill look of that. And a Moltres Hollow, so there we go. Two hits to finish that one out. And that will close out this booster box. Great Lashley packs. Rainbow Full Art and 
character rare and an Apollo. Cannot go wrong there. So get all those cards situated. Empty booster box. And let's do a quick recap of what we got in this box. Awesome opening. I didn't even sleeve that boss's orders. What am I doing here? What we got. Get these situated. Moltres, Rangaroo. We got the Gramble V Full Art, the Whimsicott V Star, Rainbow, Honchko V, Dusknor. Got the Whimsicott V Full Art, or Peko, Flareon Character Rare, or Terrorverse, and Polion Hollow. So we got to see all those starters. That sick looking Mewtwo Reverse. Trampa V. We got the Rapid Strike Urshifu Character Rare. Terra and Infernape, of course, made their show up. Charizard V. The one Charizard we got to see today. We got Fairy Fall Art Trainer. Vaporeon also made an appearance in the character rare form. And then the boss's orders hollow. And so that is going to finish out that opening. If y'all enjoyed it, again, please like, comment down below. Tell me what you enjoyed about it. Tell me how you think we did in this opening, as I will greatly appreciate it. Love y'all's support. Love you sticking with me for this long. And I can't wait to do more content for y'all. So that's going to finish out this opening. I'm going to thank you all for watching. And we will see you guys next time.